everyone. This is Angie of Stampin' with Amore. Welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications each time I upload a new video. Even if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe because it really helps my channel a bunch. I know um, some people, I look at the analytics on my YouTube page and it shows that a lot of people watch every week and they are not subscribed so please subscribe because it really does help my channel and if you like the video give it a thumbs up because that too helps my channel and I would appreciate it so thank you in advance for that. Today is probably going to be my last Christmas. I may throw in a quick and easy one next week but I think it's going to be my last Christmas project because Christmas is only two weeks in away and I think I might throw one more um, quick and easy in next week but next Sunday I probably won't have a Christmas project because I just got my pre-order and I want to start sharing some of the new stuff that came in because look what I got I got the new mini catalog. This is our January to June catalog and our celebration is going on. It starts January 4th. So I wanted to show some pre, um, show you some things and I'm going to have a haul pretty soon. Um, I just haven't gotten it posted yet and it's going to be coming probably next week. So I'm going to show you the haul and then I'm going to show you some projects with that because I know in January you're going to want to <laughs> get some of these. Oh my gosh, I love this catalog and the celebration items are really fun, this celebration. All right, so today I like every year to do a mailbox and I didn't do one this year so far. So I made this cute little mailbox. This is a lot different than the ones that I've made previously, but this comes up like that. And on there it says North Pole Delivery. This is the same stamps that I used, I think, on last year's project. And then this year I used the Christmas greetings and I used Merry Christmas. I put a little tree on the top. You can actually decorate this any way you want, but on the front I put U.S. mail because I thought that was so cute. And this box just slides out and it's a nice size box. It's a pretty good size box. It's uh, five inches by two and three quarter inches and it is two inches deep. You can fit a lot of candy in here. You can also not only do these for Christmas but Valentine's coming up. You can fill it with Valentine Day candy and just take change your sentiments of course and stuff and we have some really cute Valentine stamp sets coming up. So this is what I'm sharing today. I love this one. I thought it turned out so cute and it's rather easy. So let's get started. All right. So for this, you do need a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock because the piece that's for our box, because the box is pretty big, this box is 10 or this piece is 10 by 10. And then for the part outside of the box, you need a piece that is 11 by 5. We are going to mat that, and the matting piece is seven and a quarter by four. And then we are matting the box. You can mat all the sides of the box. I just did the one side that shows and the top. And one piece is two and a half by four and three quarters, and this piece is two and a half by one and three quarters. And then I have an extra piece for my punching my tree. And then these two pieces for the ends are 5 8 by 7 and 3 quarters. You do need some for the little pieces that are for the little mailbox handle <laughs> that comes up and the arm of the mailbox. And then this piece is for the arm of the mailbox. It's 3 quarters by 3 and 3 quarters. I know a lot of measurements, but I will be posting the inspiration sheet. I post the inspiration sheets on my blog uh, every time I do a project. So you can always go to stampingwithamora.com and get all the measurements there. All right, let's get started on it. So what we're going to do, I did already pre-cut the two little pieces that I showed you for the top of the mailbox, the, the little arm. We're going to stamp these 
and then and I did stamp the the inside and the outside because you can see it from both sides and then I also used my playful alphabet dies these are the dies with all the alphabet and I've already done the US mail from this that's what I'm using for that and the little top part are, is the Stitch So Sweetly, and I use the one that fits in here for that. All right, so this one, let me tell you that what size this is, so you know it's one and a quarter by two and a quarter. So that was the size of that. You are going to also need some brads, so the handle goes up and down. You can glue it on if you don't want to put brads on. You could just glue it straight up if you want. I thought it was cute that it could go up and down. And the stamp sets. Now, just use what you have. I mean, um, I love that it says Christmas greetings because it was perfect for a mailbox. So I use that from the sweet little stocking. I'm the perfectly plaid. I'm using the pine tree punch that goes with this and the North Pole delivery, which I love this one. It's one of my favorite. And I've used it several times for mailboxes. I'll post some of those, or I'll link them in this video, a couple of those, that you can see the ones I've done previously. And then I just use the Merry Christmas from the Sparkle of the Season. All right, so let's score the 10 inch by 10 inch piece first here. So you're going to score on one side at one half, two and a half, seven and a half and nine and a half and then you're going to turn it on the other ten inch side and you're going to do it at one half three and a quarter five and a quarter and eight And then let's score this other piece while we have it out here. You're going to score on the 11 inch side at one half and three and a half. That's it. And I think that's every bit of our scoring. Okay, so the top part is super easy. I'm going to use my bone folder and sharpen these score marks here. I'm using tear and tape because tear and tape. For this box, it's actually the best thing to use. It's a very strong double-sided adhesive. Use it um, if you have it. If not, use a very strong adhesive. You could probably glue it, but this is so much easier. It goes together so much faster. Remove your backing. And then you're just going to pull this over and line it up to the edge. And then just press that close, and there you go. Look at how easy is that. All right, now the box is a little bit different. All right, so the box, we are going to cut off. Okay, this is the half inch. I want to point out there's a half inch here, and there's a half inch here and here. The one that's on the side, that there's not one on this side. So this is going to be the top of your box. So we're cutting off this square right here. These both sides have the half inch, so make sure you're cutting on the right side. And then you're going to cut these, this off here. And then I'm going to cut in on these. And then we're cutting up the sides here. And the reason I said that is the reason I you have a half inch on both sides is because I wanted those little flaps inside. So we're cutting that. I'm just going to cut on the inside of this. I'm going to cut these. This is going to, middle one's going to be our flap that folds inside this box. And then I'm just going to do that. So that's what it's going to look like and you're going to flip it around and you're going to do the same on this side. So we're going to cut up here, here, we are cutting this one off here. I hope I don't have you too close. 
and then here because I forget this is a big piece of paper and then I'm going to cut just one side because I like to keep this to keep my edges straight and then we're going to cut this and I'll show it to you move this all out of the way and we are going to look like that and that's our box so let's go ahead and sharpen all these All right, so we're going to put this together now. I'm going to use my stamp and seal plus, and we are going to put adhesive there and on the outsides of these because these are going to pull up. Make sure you have it nice and square. I usually like to line this top part up, and then we are going to put more adhesive here, and then you're going to pull that side up. So we have this little flap right there. I just really like the flaps. I know I'm really particular on that, but it just helps. So we're gonna put, we can actually just put on this one, you can just put a couple pieces there. And then make sure you line this up and keep it nice and square. That's why I like to keep this flat. And then we're gonna put adhesive on this side and just pull that one up and these flaps fold inside so it holds your lid up this it holds this lid up uh, much much better than if you don't have them in there this will start falling in and I just like it it's more professional looking to me so we are going to just mat this I'm just matting the top the top and the side that is going to show but you can mat all the whole thing if you want all three sides and then I leave the, the front for our mail that says US mail you could just put mail on there you, you can do whatever you want with it but because I live in the US I wanted to use the regular US mail on it all right, so we're going to put that on the front here. This is going to be our front. So let me grab my letters here. And we are going to start. I start with the, the mail. And I'm just going to use wet glue for this. And how I get them to line up, I try to make them look like they're all even. I'll do the M and then I'll do the L and then I'll fit the other two. I'll space those in between. And then we'll put the A and the I. And then I'll put the US above that. Oops. Move that. Try to keep them straight. There we go. And then we'll do the US. I, I was going to use the little dots too, but then I thought, nah, I'm not going to be that particular with it. The little dots between the U and the S. <laughs> there you go now it says US mail isn't that cute all right so let's do this top part this is what we're using for our matting this and when you mat this you want to center it because we are putting the little white strips so we are going to center this in the center here and then just bring it all the way around uh-oh, how did I get short? All right, we're going to do something different here. It's going to be okay. I'm going to just, I don't know, I got short on this. So I don't know why. Let me see if I cut it right first, and then I'll tell you. <laughs> no, I didn't. I cut it at seven and a quarter. It's supposed to be, I think it was seven and a half. So I'm going to just leave a little space at the bottom on this one. 
see if I can get it even on both sides. Yeah. So we're just going to leave a little space. It's a half inch short. So it looks about a half inch, maybe a quarter inch short. So I think it's seven and a half. So instead of four and a seven and a quarter, do it at four and seven and a half. And I'll fix those when I do the inspiration sheet. This happens to me sometimes. I'm going to mark it right away so I don't forget. All right. So there you go with that. Now we are going to put, let's stamp our pieces. And I want to show you how I did the North Pole delivery because it is a big piece here. So what I do is I just take some of my sticky note and I'm going to cover that. So we're just going to get the North Pole delivery part. I'm going to grab my, I'm using Garden Green for this whole thing. And I am going to ink that up. When you do this, remember to take off your little mask pieces or you will be in trouble. <laughs> and then we're going to stamp that here. And then I'm going to do the same thing again. We're going to mask that. So if you if you haven't done this before, this is a really neat trick for if you don't want something in your that's on the stamp, if you don't want it in your like on your card or whatever you're creating, just like this. Take those off. And we're going to do this one too. Alright, and then I'm going to go ahead and I am going to stamp these while we have the ink out. And I'm going to do the Christmas greetings. And you want to try to center these on here because it's going to be on the top of your box. So you want to try to center it on the top of that. So there's our Christmas greetings. And then we have the Merry Christmas. And then I think we're ready to go. All right, now to make this little thing here, <laughs> we're gonna, I'm going to use some um, Stamp and Sail Plus here. And you're just going to sandwich. Oops. Did I do it on the wrong side? Let's see. Yeah, I need to put some on this side. I'm going to put this down here. And then you want to cover this other one all the way. And then put this one on here. And just line them up, the little scallops up. And there's our little pole. Now I'm going to grab one of my little brads here. You can use any of these, any color, any shape. That We have round and square in here. And be very careful on this part because you may poke yourself and I don't want you poking yourself. So I am going to just put a hole right about here. Maybe I'll move it up a little bit. And then we're going to put this on here. I need to put a hole on this one too. Be really careful with this paper piercer. It can be dangerous. And we'll put this through here. And then through this other hole. And then just open your brad on the inside there. Did I put it on right? I think I put it on backwards. Yeah, I did put it on backwards. So let's do that again. Let's take that out. You can put it either way. It doesn't matter. On a mailbox, they go both ways. But on a, I know on our mailbox, it goes the opposite way. It goes this way. So we're going to do it this way. All right. 
there we go. Alright, so it'll go up and down just like that. Isn't that cute? I thought that was so cute. Alright. I did design this myself, by the way. Um, and then this is just going to slide in here like that. I am going to put on our little pieces here. This is the front. I'm going to put the Christmas greetings there. You can use wet glue. I'm going to just use the Stamp and Seal Plus because of the video. It's a lot easier for me to. In fact, I want to do it this way first. And make sure your edges are all lined up too. I feel like, um, and there is a little bit of a, that you do have to trim. I feel like the wet glue holds this a little bit better and that's what I used on my other one. So whatever you have left, just trim that. And, but I don't want to sit and hold it while we're in the video, so we're doing it this way. Again, make sure your edges are lined up. My husband's going in the backyard, and my little girl, she likes to bark. Every time he goes to the, in the back, she wants to go too. So sorry for her barking. <laughs> and then just trim that little piece off. It's easier than trying to cut it that exact size. All right, so look how cute now. All right, now I am going to use my little punch and my pine tree punch here. And of course, you know I had to get gingham in this. And we're going to glue this one on the top. I thought too about putting snowflakes and I just didn't want to get too carried away. So we are going to put that one on the top. And again, it does take a little bit for the glue to catch on these. And I actually had this red and white from years ago. I don't even know if, I can't remember if this was stamping up. I can't remember where I got it, but I had it. So I'm just tying a little bow for like the top of the tree. I just like the, the red and white stripe. I thought it was really cute. So that is what I'm using, and I'm using a glue dot to hold that on. I told my husband he needed to buy me a new chair for Christmas because this thing, it's so squeaky. <laughs> it, it, it drives me crazy, especially when I'm doing my editing my videos, and I can hear that thing squeaking. Oh my gosh. So sorry about the squeak. <laughs> And so there's our little tree on the top. And now we are going to just add, I'm using my sheer ribbon to add a little bow on here. I just felt like it needed something here. You don't have to even put a bow, but I just decided to put one on the side here. Okay, so I'm going to just make it a little bit smaller. And we're going to trim that. Let's go this way with that. And there you have it. Isn't it cute though? I thought it turned out so cute. Alright, here's the finished. Just like that, and then this slides out. But All right, everyone, so there's my little Christmas mailbox. I hope you enjoy it. If you need any supplies, you can shop on my blog at stampingwithamori.com. If you spend $50 and you use this hostess code, I'm sending you a free gift this month, and they are the Pastel Pearls. I don't think I've told you what they were, but I love those pearls, and so I'm going to pass them on to you to use. All right, everyone, I hope you all have a blessed day, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later, everyone. Bye.